What's going on, the Copper fan? Myself, Poet, and David are at Haley Ferry Tanford, and we've got a very special guest to our left. As an Arsenal fan, I shouldn't be too kind, but I should in the same breath. <laughs> Mr. Deli Ali, how are you, bro? Yeah, good, thanks. You. As good? a Liverpool yeah, fan, right. I mean, you know, don't score on the weekend. <laughs> Please, but, you know, a round of applause behind the camera. Tap your comments, leave some below. Let's start this interview. So what we're going to do is we're going to ask you some general questions about yourself and your career so far, and then we're going to go into the Copper fans' questions. And those are the people that leave comments underneath the videos. Some are a bit crazy, but we're not going to go over there because your agent's over there looking nervous. So we're going to do it nice and clean. All right, first question. How did it feel to make your debut against uh, Estonia for England? Yeah, it was, um, it was a dream come true for me, obviously. Uh, it's one of the moments where you get the butterflies and stuff. But, um, yeah, when I have a first date, it's well done. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you know, obviously I was confident, so I was ready and um, I was really excited and was waiting for the moment for them to tell me to go get warm. And, it sort of sudden after they scored the goal, they just sort of chucked me on, so yeah, it was good. You're a central midfielder. Yeah. We were saying you're box to box, you can do pretty much anything. What player like, do you model yourself on? Uh, when I was younger, I used to try and be like Steven Gerrard. <laughs> up, Steven Gerrard, oh, come on, the greatest English midfielder ever. Yeah, I like the way you put English first. Yes. <laughs> and a bit of Yaya Torre as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. How does it feel though, man? You moved to Tottenham Hotspur. I mean, what are your expectations being at the club, man? You're getting a lot more first team action. Surely we feel, a lot of my friends are Tottenham fans, they feel that you definitely deserve it. Have you now set yourself goals and targets for the whole season? Uh, yeah, obviously, you know, just want to do as well as you can and want to get a few more goals in the Premier League, obviously. At MK goals was quite a big part of my game. Yeah. And I thought maybe I haven't sc scored as many as maybe I would have liked to in the appearance I've had. I have one question. Uh, we are here at Grassroots Football. You know, it's the, it's the PlayStation Cup for, for the kids, and you, yeah. you've come in at a very young level. How important is Grassroots Football? And what would you give as a tip, the main tip for young kids trying to make it in the game? Uh, the main tip is just to never give up. Obviously, you get a lot of people telling you that you can't do things. I just think it's important that you know you have confidence in yourself and on and off the pitch. You have to give up a lot, and so like I say, you have to keep working hard. That's the main thing. We've got some questions from the Copper Fam now. Uh, for the first one here, he's got from the Gaffer Tapes. He says to himself, basically, do you pick yourself on Football Manager, FIFA, or <laughs> Evo? Four point nine mil. <laughs> I don't actually play Football Manager, to be honest. But I play FIFA. FIFA. Yeah, Is it a bit surreal playing with yourself on FIFA? Uh, I think I don't think they rate me that much on there, to be honest. So. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to change that FIFA, come on, this is Delhi. <laughs> Nabil Chadley says, would you rather nutmeg Messi or Ronaldo? That's a good question. Who would you rather nuts? That's difficult. Uh, probably Ronaldo. Just yeah, a serious reaction. Yeah. You know, he's, he's got that sort of thing about him, even just want to nutmeg him. And, well, I'm going to get my phone out because I have got some on Twitter as well. The people have been absolutely crazy. They're about nutmegs. <laughs> you know what? There's actually a lot, a lot about nutmegs. It's from um, Luke MCM XC. It says, do you use much nutmeg in your cooking? He looks like an absolute addict. <laughs> Are you a nutmeg addict with your cooking? I can't cook. One personal one from me, Beyonce or Rihanna? Oh, Beyonce. I, I don't know. It's a hard one. It's a hard one, but I'd have to say Beyonce. It depends. Beyonce is beautiful, but Rihanna is. We can't let you know that information. Because <laughs> kids are watching. He's going Beyonce. <laughs> yeah. I'm a firm Rihanna. So Copper Ninety made a top ten of the best Wonder Kids they feel they incorporated you in it, which I feel is rightly so. Is that something? Is, is that a lot of pressure though, in terms of everyone putting that pressure on you, saying, "Look, you're going to be the next Steven Gerrard. You're going to be the next big thing for England." How does that feel? Or do you just cool about it? Uh, Keep it calm. Again, <laughs> I think that depends on the player, obviously. Yeah. I try not to look at too much into them sort of things. Obviously, it helps me with my confidence, but you know, I don't want to get too carried away. I just yeah. want to focus on each game and just try and do as well as I can and work hard on and off the pitch. Dope. Well, now you've got to teach me how to take a penalty against you. <laughs> if you saw my last penalty, mate, Beckham over the bar. So just teach him some tips because you are a goal scoring midfielder. That's why I got the Astros on, on the grass. I want to get my gloves. Let's do this. Come on, play. You're not going to put it past me. How should, what's, what should be my thinking strategy right now going to take this penalty? Well, you should know where you want to put it. Like, do you have a favourite side? Obviously, you don't, want it, you don't want him to know, but... Right, the right of the keeper, so. The right of the keeper, so. yeah, yeah, yeah that's, I like that one as well. So, it's, I think the most important thing is that you have a lot of disguise in the penalty. If you know where you're putting it, then all you need to worry about is disguise and the way you strike the ball. I think it's important that you get a good contact with it, yeah. keep your head down, maybe give the keeper the eyes, but I don't think he's all going to see it with But, um, yeah, don't make it too obvious which way you're going to put it. Do you know the keeper well? Yeah, I think Does he's he, going to dive. Does he dive? Yeah, I reckon you could probably chip him. Chip yeah? I reckon you could chip him if you've got it in your locker, but you've got to make it the disguised. Kind of yeah? yeah? Okay, we'll see. No! Oh, 
Oh, it's not even further. You see, they've got the quality in it. It's just, just absolute quality. All right, lads, I've proven that I can score penalties past Vuj. I'm quality. I'm signing for England. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like, share, and leave a comment. I'm Poet. That's for Janik. How dare you? How dare you? That's Delhi Ali. See you later, come fam. Take care.